Hello, my beautiful Aries. Here is your reading for March. This is a love reading, soulmates, twin flames, whatever it is. And uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're returning, please hit the notification bell. All right. <clears throat> This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Make sure you check your North Node. It is the path that you are moving towards. It's uh, Remember, astrology is everything that we're here to transcend. It is not, it's not the end all, but your North Node um, does tell you the direction that you've been working on to move towards. It's a very important aspect. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you. What is going on with them? We're going to take a look at your love predictions for this month, and we're going to also take a look at the karmic, any karmic situations that you're dealing with. Okay, let's take a look at your mind, heart, actions, and outcome spaces. Your mind. Questioning things, Aries. You're mending bridges to you. may want to look at Sagittarius if you have Sagittarius in your chart. The energy feels very similar. Um... But here, Spirit is saying, you've been asking why. You've been actually getting very um, honest with yourself about what you want. You're healing your heart a lot, and you know that you're a blessed being. You may want to watch Sag. Like, I just shuffled and everything and cleared. And um, But Spirit wants you to stay present here, Aries. Um, I feel for you, though, that this is um, something more recent that may have happened for you um let's take a look i feel that you you're healing your heart and i feel that yeah you're trying to get into more of a spiritual place i feel for most of you uh whatever practices you've been doing have been really working for you i feel some of you meditate and sound healing is what i'm hearing listening to like certain megahertz and stuff like that but there's something going on like if you're not really um it's not helping anymore that's what i'm getting so let's take a look what's going on for love for aries sun moon rising and venus and north node i feel like what you're doing is not working you know you're trying you know that there's blessings for you but you've been trying to heal here and stay very present so I don't feel you're in a bad place. Let's take a look. I feel like you're just questioning why. Like, how? what else What else can I do here? Um, let's take a look. Why is why here, please, Spirit? There's a high honor here. So you may want to look at Sag. You may have Sag in your chart, but I'm going to get another card on that. Because Spirit is saying there's a new path here opening up for you. That's why things are happening. You have a high honor you the spirit sees the work that you've been doing spirit sees your gifts and they need your gifts in this new path that's moving so spirit wants you to know like sometimes your answers aren't going to be fully answered you're you're healing on a very deep cellular level is what i'm hearing from maybe um a certain way of thinking that's what i was feeling like the privileged lady if there's nothing wrong with being privileged nothing at all but when you're a privileged lady you you haven't you know let's just put it this way some people have had massive amounts of trauma and, and some people never had any trauma in their life and someone who hasn't had trauma we i wouldn't say they're privileged but they won't have the same understanding of what someone who has been traumatized has gone through so spirit is saying it's not like you're a privileged person i'm seeing it as, as a certain vibration that you don't know where you're moving to um, that you're healing something to move. Yeah, this is up to spirit. In this deck, this is, it may not be court issues. In this deck, I see this as spirit or your guides or God coming through and being like, um, yeah, I'm making the decision in your love life. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Spirit is saying, don't worry, you are blessed here. You're being gifted by something. So something is coming for you in March that you're going to be gifted. There is a new path opening up for you, Aries, okay? Just stay present and chill out. This is what I'm saying. Hey, there's something happening here. You've been working very hard to mature yourself into a divine, feminine, wise woman or man, okay? Can be both. But what I'm seeing here is like whatever you may... How, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Spirit. I keep hearing that. Let's see the weight card is on the bottom. Um, I keep hearing... You know, but it used to work this way or, you know, if I did this would always work or it's kind of like how you know how to live and how to work. Things have just completely changed and you don't know what to do anymore. And that's what's happening here. Spirit is saying that 
it's a new pathway that's opening up that's why it's a new vibration it's a new direction and so what happens when you're on a journey or you're going on a trip for the very first time you don't know what the place looks like you're a little excited can be a little nerve-wracking the spirit is saying this is because aries it's not you're going somewhere completely different so let's take a look Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus. Make sure that you take a look at your other signs um, in your chart, your Rising and your Sun, and all that to get a clear picture. And if you're liking this reading so far, please don't forget to hit the like. Okay, guys. All right, let's take a look here at the... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, you want the stability, and you've been mirroring a lot of wounds. You, uh, People that have been coming into your life, what I'm seeing here, Aries, is that, you know, they've been mirroring more of your wounding back and you're really done with that. You, you want someone to mirror your gifts back. You want, you want to mirror, mirror a clear mirror, right? We have distorted mirrors and we have clear mirrors. And Spirit is saying that you really want that clear mirror, that stability, the growth, the endurance, the flexibility to see the good in somebody and for someone to see the good in you no matter what as well. So you're mending your heart. Um, you've kind of, you've surrendered is what I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm. I'm seeing that you've moved on, you're having time with friends, girl talk, um, moving on, being with friends, and moving and closing off old issues. So you've been mending your heart, and you've surrendered, which is really great. You've really surrendered, and so Spirit is ready to gift you something this month because of endings that you have put on um, have happened in your life, transformation. So that's really beautiful. Now that you have, I feel you've completely surrendered. You can watch Sag if you wish, but I, I just keep bringing that up because they're really learning how to come into this place. I feel like you have surrendered um, and there's new coming for you and you being present. They're seeing all the work that's coming for you that they're, yeah, you, they're bringing um, this transformative awakening energy to you now. So something is definitely shifting for you. I need a sip of water here. Aries. Something is definitely happening in your life here. What is going on with Aries, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North. Know what is going on with Aries. Why is my cloth doing that? Driving me a little nuts here. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I just actually just fixed it, so I don't know what its problem is. <laughs> What is going on? Sorry. What's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node? Yeah, so I'm really seeing um, brand new vibe coming in. It's been happening for a lot of the signs, eh, um, in the collective. So massive transformation happening as spring approaches. So let's take a look. We have the chariot. You're moving forward pretty quick. Okay, persevering, nine of wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have Two of Cups in Reverse. Uh, relationships. You may be ending certain relationships too because you're transforming. You're staying present. You're working hard on yourself. You're ending things that no longer serve you. Wow. Six of Pentacles. Seven of Swords in Reverse. The Hermit. And the Ace of Swords in Reverse. Okay, so this is what I'm seeing. Spirit is saying where you are in the mind in the month of March, Aries, things are going to be given to you. You asking why and recognizing where you have been reflecting people of the past. You want the stability. You know your honor as well, Spirit is saying. So you're ready to move very quickly and Spirit is into something that's more reciprocal, reciprocal right? Reciprocated. Yeah, there's been a massive ending and transformation of the past. Spirit is saying that... Um, yeah, things weren't um, manifesting maybe from the past. And so you're gaining this um, King of Pentacles, this stability. I feel this is the new per this person that wants to come in. Spirit is saying that um, because there has been an ending, you've been moving on. Somebody may want to give to you. <laughs> what is this King of Pentacles wanting to give? Yeah, codependent. There may have been an attachment here, but that's ended now. Yeah, fearful, moving through the shadows. Um, you've moved on from this is what I'm seeing. Somebody couldn't give or was too afraid. And so you've ended where things weren't manifesting of the past because you're ready for something new. That's really what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing this person coming back. I'm seeing like you're just moving through this. 
okay? You're persevering. You're moving on with friends and being, you know, joyful and getting together with friends or, you know, you're mending your heart. You've surrendered. You gave that up to spirit and you're persevering and you're getting just very honest with yourself. You, yeah, it was too painful. Nine, nine, you're ending a cycle here of dishonesty. You're just moving on because you really want happiness here. Yeah, you want a ton of cups. It's too painful for you. And you're done and you really just want love and 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 um ten of cups. You're a brand new beginning here. So you're discovering something new about yourself. And because of this ending, spirit is gifting you something. You're very blessed. You've gone within, you've been investing in yourself. Look at this. A union, a foundation, a passionate new beginning. That's the action that's coming to you in March. Something brand new is opening up. Okay. Um, yeah. No more juggling, opening up, letting go because something has ended. You've let go of something from this past that was maybe too afraid to come in and be with you because we have like, um, you know, the lovers in reverse, the two cups. So something very significant has ended. Something was suppressed. The truth was suppressed and you're not taking that. You, you're staying present. You're like, I'm moving on. Yeah. Um, somebody can't speak truth to me because this is, you know, someone that was fearful of you. You're moving on and Spirit is saying that there's blessings that are coming into this new path here. Yeah, you're healing. You're coming out of that where you've been stuck in the past. And yeah, there was just no, you're just brand new vibration. You're just brand new vibration. It was no renewal there, no stuck. You're just moving on to calmer water. So you're, you're going to be gifted something. What is this gift, Spirit? What is this gift? Can you tell us? Yeah, you're leaving Nine of Pentacles. You may want to watch Sagittarius. You may be doing yeah. Look at this. Four of Wands. You're leaving the complacent relationships that every other unconscious human has on the planet. I shouldn't say that, but it's true. I, I hate, I say this to my clients. It's like, but I see all these people married and happy. I'm like, are they happy? Or are they just complacent in their Nine of Cups? Because that's what the world says is happiness. It's not God's love. It's not spirit love. We want, we, you guys coming to this channel, you want the real deal. This is, you're ending that. You're ending that nine of cups. You don't want that nine of cups anymore. And then clarifying that gift. You want union. You want marriage. You want so, something solid. And that's what's being gifted to you. Wow. Let's take a look at your karmic energies and what's going on for that. That's really beautiful. So you will be gifted something. I feel that this month you just got to just... Keep doing what you're doing, Aries. Just keep doing what you're doing because whatever you're doing right now is definitely um, shifting things, okay? It's bringing in this awakening, this transformation. Like, look at these cards, right? Death, lightning, butterfly, right? So, yeah. If you like this so far, hit a like, guys. It really helps. It took my channel to grow. I'm trying to get my, my likes and everything back up there and really build up my calling in a really profound way because I want to create this mystery school and start running retreats again. I'm hoping this summer ayahuasca retreats and get people healed and aligned. So please, it really helps me out. All right, let's take a look. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Let's take a look at what is their karma. What karmic energies are playing out for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node in the month of March? What is going on for Aries and their karmic situations? Okay, so karma can be anything, you guys, all right? Um, just things that we haven't been able to uh, clear out from our energy to release us, okay? That's all it is. So let's take a look. What is going on with the karmic situation for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? Let's take a look. Four cards, please. One, two, three. Wow. Four. Wow. Beautiful Aries. Look at this. Okay. You're between worlds right now. You know, you're moving into a new vibration. This is what I'm saying. It's so like Sagittarius. Um, you're so between worlds right now, completely between worlds right now. Um, you're cleaning up your heart space. So spirit is like, keep doing this. What's going to come in is like a new home, a new vibration. There's no place like home. This is also the number five, which is change 50. Um, we have three, three, five, five. Wow. Three, three, five, five. <laughs> I didn't check the numbers on your last one. I'm sorry. 
Um, yeah, so this is just saying that you're in between worlds. There's no place, just, there's no place like home. Your, your blessings are coming. Just uh, keep doing what you're doing. You're in a surrendered state. You're doing it good. Just keep that momentum going, okay? Hold that peace. Hold that peace. That's, the, that's been coming up. Let's take a look. What's going on in your karmic situation? Spirit is working for you, Aries, okay? You're watching this. Spirit is working for you, right? And I'm not reading for cross watchers. I'm just reading for Aries. So cross watchers, take it as it resonates, right? All right, what is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and North Node in their karmic situation? There's change happening here. Look at this, change. Clean it up. Wow. You're cleaning up false people from your life. If you've been dealing in a love situation with a false person, they're being cleaned out as well in your karmic situation. So if you've been dealing with like a in separation or anything like that, that false person is being cleared out. All right. No place like home. That person is being cleaned out because you are home. Look at this. Lovers. Despair. Poverty. Oh, my God. We're going to take this for all, all of these. Okay. There's great love and fortune coming here out of your poverty and despair. Just keep holding the peace, okay? That's what's happening right now. There's great love and great fortune coming for you. I can't make that up. Like, there's no place like home. That's the home card. So massive changes are happening right now. So the, whatever is interfered in your love life, whatever karma, spirit's like, that contract's done. That's a done deal. That's changing now. We're moving you. We're moving you into the new vibration. So if it's been feeling a little bit weird, remember, change takes time, right? You can be in the stagnant place for all the, not stagnant. It's not really stagnant. What I'm feeling is like, it's definitely just a shift. I feel like you may be also feeling, it may be feel a little stagnant, but it may also feel like things are changing at the same time, if that makes sense. I know, a little bit of oxymoron, but that's how spirit works. So you may feel like a little bit at times, like nothing's moving and then something happens and shifts and you're like, oh wait, I think that is a clearing. <laughs> um, that is actually what's happening in your karmic situation, okay? This false person is getting out and you're also getting very clear of who you want in your life you're like i don't want false people in my life that i'm done with that too so can we get a card for each spirit thank you look at this uh things are changing um whatever was seduced out of your you know it's like see this is the devil energy you know something was maybe taken out of your stability okay um that's changing right the old energy of seduction and devil energy is being taken out of your environment because you're moving between worlds now karmic relationship look at that cleaning it up beautiful so as i'm saying this karmic person this karmic energy it's all being cleaned up spirit is cleaning it up out of your heart out of your vibration out of your world okay um no place like home spirit with great love here and great fortune Oh, there's a runner that might be returning, okay? So if you're watching this as a twin flame, the karma got the runner, okay? Uh, this love is coming back here. Whatever this mirror was, the runner mirrored back a lot of the emotional upheaval stuff, you know, that needed to clear. And so this karmic situation definitely showed this person where they were running from this love and this great abundance and there's no place like home. There may be a return. We'll see what the tarot says, but whatever you hold peace through poverty and despair, okay? Somebody wants to date you. <laughs> I'm getting this person is coming back, that this person is at an awakening and they want to date and come forward. But if it's not someone from the past, I don't like doing past readings because really you shouldn't be going back to somebody from the past unless nothing ever really got started, you know? Um, you know, or both people have healed and you can enter a new vibration together. That's different, but you can't go back to old vibration. So let's just make that clear. You can't go back to old patterns if you've healed it. Spirit is saying you've been healing it. You've been cleaning it up. So there's no problem here, but there is going to be a lot of dating out of your despair and poverty. There's massive awakening. You may have also been running from self from who you really are. And there's a lot of abundance. You've been healing and cleaning out false people in your life that there's somebody coming in to date. Okay. And so however you want to take that, um, you know, if you're thinking of someone or if you're not, that's how it applies. All right. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising and Venus. 
and North Node in their karmic situation, please. What's going on with Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in their karmic situation? Thank you. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, the World reverse, the Sun, the Page of Swords. We have the Empress. Look at this. Empress mode. Unfinished business. Holding strength. Two of Swords. Becoming illuminated at where things may were at a crossroads before or blocked. Wow. You may be getting, someone may be stalking you. This person, this King of Wands, may be looking at you and awakened to their despair and poverty and um, holding peace and maybe coming in to communicate with you. All right, that's what I'm seeing. Um, we have a Queen of uh, sorry, we have an empress here. All right. This is divine feminine energy. Oh, also, we're going to be doing a pick a card. So <laughs> we should mention that. We mention that now. We're going to do a pick a card. So think of a question. Um, we're going to pick three cards at the end. Okay. One, two, or three. You can ask one question and, and see which card it is, or you can ask three questions for each card. Okay. They're going to be yes or no. Um, so yeah, spirit is saying you are unstable here. Divine feminine. Something was seduced. Uh, taken out of you know devil taken away from you that caused a lot of instability but you've changed you've been healing you're creating your own stability you're in between worlds you're moving into something into this real divine feminine energy and what i'm getting here is like this you're not going to be able to be touched in this new vibration yet. you're putting you need to watch sad i can't even if you don't have sag in your in your chart you need to watch that because that reading um is very similar um, you've, you've transformed, you've healed, you're moving into something very new. Um, and spirit really wants you to recognize that crows are, if you're hearing crows, you may be hearing them. It, it significant, it's significantly about change. Okay. Look at this union. You may be coming, you're coming, you're right close to the end of a massive completion of a cycle in the karmic cycle. It's coming into union and foundation. Look at this. This false person is being cleaned up. Bye. Can I say bye, bitch? Bye. Um, the wheel hasn't turned for you, but look at this. Oops. Fast movement here. Communication coming in for you, okay? Unfinished business. Someone returning from the past. The, someone's cleaning up karma in your situation you and the other person okay no more waiting and planning for the future here with this one person it's being cleaned up yeah missed opportunity there may have been a missed opportunity here and spirit is saying it's being all cleaned up now your karma situation is being completely cleaned up so whatever you're doing you stay in this divine empress mode you stay in that mode you are becoming illuminated <laughs> Uh, I feel it's actually things have been revealed in this karmic situation and this person the runner has been mirrored has really got their karmic debt if you felt that someone didn't get their karma they got their karma okay that's what I'm seeing it's put them at a crossroads it's and it's blocked them they can't do anything it's caused them a lot of confusion it was a complete illusion everything's being lit up here they're moving quickly towards you all right I feel somebody is coming in really fast. We have the Page of Swords here with the King yet to work on this contract, communicate how to move forward. And if it's not somebody from the past, it's somebody new that Spirit's bringing in in this month of March, okay? I feel it's going to move towards the end of this month. Um, for a lot of you, I mean, he keep hearing the 28th of March, 24th to 28th, but also know that timing is not always right. In, in psychic timing and it depends on how many people are watching this but yeah there's definitely a lot of fast movement forward towards love and great abundance to a place that's home for you so keep in your peace because there's a, a massive awakening that's happening here in the person that you've been calling in that um wants to date you it's been a big burden for this person wow wow you're getting communication here yeah, out of regrets and complacency. I want to know this false person. Who's this false person? I'm sorry, being nosy now. Because I'm like, who the hell is this? I don't have Aries in my chart. I'm just, yeah. This has been delayed, procrastinated because of keeping this love away. That's what this person, so that's being cleaned up right now. This person is coming towards you. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so love is happening. That is happening. You maintain what you need to maintain, all right? You stay in that empress mode. Let's pick a card. Let's pick a card. We're going to pick one, two, or three. So think of your 
question now. I'm going to use another deck. I'm going to use this one here. Even though it's the same deck, but I just, it's a different. Um, these are my deck. This is my deck. It's not for sale yet, but if you like them, I will be I'm figuring, I'm figuring that out to sell my decks. I'm in the mode of creating another mode. I have another deck that I haven't quite. I'm on my third deck creation, so... All right, think of your question, yes or no. I'm gonna pick one, two, and three. You can ask three questions for each card or you can ask a question, however you wanna do it. And I will pull the card. You can ask one question and pick one card if you wish. All right, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and North Node. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on for Aries? Yes or no, pick a card. Let's take a look. Two. Yeah, I want to give three. All right. Oh, let's take a look. So for pile number one, card number one, yes, new beginnings, definitely. Fresh start. Yes, 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 yes. Full yes, full yes. Card number two, strength. Yes, yes, yes. For sure, that is also a, a definite yes. Hold your ground, stay firm, okay? And the Hierophant, I'm going to say a yes. Yes all around. It's so funny because I wanted to pick up the other card, the very first card I debated. It was actually the Empress, so that would have been a yes as well. So three yeses for you, Aries. Okay, I hope you like that. Please uh, comment down below. Please like and subscribe, and if you want to work with me, all the info is down below. If you're interested in ayahuasca, plant medicine, ceremonies, send me an email. All of that stuff is down below. So much love, you guys. Bye.